Hey, how's it going? I'm Nick Gaska and welcome back to I Can Do That DIY for another doll repaint video. Today I'm going to be customizing Honey, the doll that I designed and created myself. This project is going to be super fun because it's my first ever pair. Today's dolls are actually going to be twins. More specifically, fraternal cow twins. I love cows, I think they're adorable, and I love their spots so much. The first twin is going to be inspired by one of my favorite beverages, strawberry milk. And of course, her fraternal twin is going to be chocolate milk. So here's the face I designed and created. This is Honey Milk. As you can see, Honey Milk has some cow features. She has an adorable set of horns and some cute downturned ears. Alright, let's get into it. So here's how the face turned out. I think it looks adorable. And of course, since they're twins, I'll be doing everything twice. So yeah, super fun. Let's start by marking out the eye. To do this, I'm going to use a watercolor pencil. Once I'm happy with the shape on one eye, I'll do the same thing on the other side. Then I'll do the same thing on the other doll. While I do that, I just have to say thank you so much for watching and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our latest projects. Also, make sure to follow my Instagram accounts. The Honey Doll Instagram will have updates on how to get your very own honey very soon. After I'm done laying out both sets of eyes, I'm going to start working on the spots. I'm going to use a pink watercolor pencil to mark out all of the pink spots and a brown watercolor pencil to mark out the brown spots. After I'm happy with the layout of the spots, I'm going to fill them in with the same watercolor pencil. Alright awesome, they look super cute so far. Now let's add some blush to the face with my pink pastel. We're going to be adding some blush to the cheeks, the nose, the lip, and the inner ear.
After that's all done, I'll seal in all of my work with a layer of Mr. Super Clear. Then I can move on to the next layer. On the next layer, we'll be using some acrylic paint to paint over all the spots. On the strawberry cow, we'll be using some pink paint, and on the chocolate cow, we'll be using some brown paint. Alright, after a few more layers, it looks like this. Now using a black watercolor pencil, I'm going to color in the eyeliner shape. Now using a white watercolor pencil, I'll add some texture to the lip. After that, I'll use a mid-toed pink to add some more blushing to the face. On the next layer, using a very sharp black watercolor pencil, I'll work on the lower eyelashes. Alright, awesome! Next, I'm going to use some watered down black acrylic paint to paint over the black areas. This just makes it really opaque. And once I do both dolls, the face-up is complete. Alright, now let's add some lashes. As usual, I'll use my Kiss Brand Faux Eyelashes, this time in the Style Shy. I'm also going to use some Elmer's Glue Wall, some scissors, and a pin. First, let's measure the lash and cut it to length. After that, using a pin, I'll add some glue and then apply the lash. Once I'm happy with the position, I'll let it dry and then do the other side. After I do one doll, I'll do the other doll. Next, after lashes, is adding gloss. I'm going to gloss the waterline of the eye, the nose, and the lip.
Alright, while the gloss dries, let's move on to making some earrings. More specifically, their identification ear tags. One is number one, and one is number two. I designed and printed them using my 3D printer off screen. Now we're going to paint them yellow and paint the numbers black. After that's all dry, I'll do a glossy top coat off screen. Alright, now that those are all prepped, I'm going to add some super glue to the back of them and glue them onto the ear. Cool, now the head is pretty much done for now. I'm going to set it aside and work on the body. I haven't assembled the body yet, so it's easier to paint. We're going to be painting spots all over the body, just like we did on the face. But this time, instead of using a pencil, I'm going to go right in with the paint. Once everything is fully painted, I'll protect the paint job with a UV matte top coat. Alright, next step is sewing. Off screen, I prepped and cut out the fabric. I also matched and dyed the trim. Here are the fabrics for the strawberry, which is the outfit we'll be sewing. Here are the fabrics for chocolate. I'll be doing this one off screen. I'm going to start by finishing the top edge of the bodice with a lace trim. I'll sew along the top at a quarter inch. After that, I'll press it over and do a top stitch along the edge. Next, I'll sew the bus starts. After I sew the bust starts, I'll hem the peplum edge. The peplum is split into two pieces. I'll do one side and then do the other side. Once both sides are hemmed, I'll gather the top edge. I'll do two facing stitches along the top edge, tie a knot on one side, separate the strings at the other end, and then pull the two top strings to cinch. Once both sides are gathered, we can attach it to the bodice. I went ahead and pinned it to the bodice off screen. Now I'm going to sew along the waist at a quarter inch. After that, I'll press down the peplums and sew along the edge. Off screen, I'll finish the bodice with a velcro closure at the back.
All right, cool. Next up is the skirt. Off screen, I went ahead and pressed the top edge and pinned the lace trim to the bottom of the skirt. I'll start by attaching the lace trim to the skirt. After that, I'll have the top edge at a quarter inch. After that, I'll press over the excess on the lace trim, and then do a top stitch on the edge to finish it. Off screen, I went ahead and fed some elastic to the tunnel at the waist. I'm going to pull it tight and then finish up the skirt by sewing up the center back. Like I mentioned earlier, I'll do chocolate's outfit off screen. I actually ended up doing a lot of work off screen. I created and styled the wigs for both of the dolls, I also added a ribbon and cabo detail to both of the bodices. Now I'm going to add some more decorative elements. I'll be using rhinestones, as well as strawberries and chocolates that I designed, painted, and 3D printed off screen. Alright, cool. Now let's start gluing them on. I'm going to glue the chocolates to the waist, as well as the strawberries. Then I'm going to add some rhinestones. I'm going to add some rhinestones to each of the bows in the wig. Off screen, I'll add some rhinestones to the edge of the skirt as well as to the waist. Alrighty, now let's move on to making them some accessories. Off screen, I printed and base coated a pair of baskets. I used Tamiya Color for plastic spray paint in red brown. Now I'm going to dry brush a series of lighter browns on the basket. Off screen, I'll finish the basket by adding some goodies to the inside. I'll be adding some strawberries, some flowers, and little cartons of milk. So here they are, here's the finished result. I'm so happy with how they turned out, I think they look adorable. I love how their expressions turned out. They look super worried and forlorn, yet super cute. If you hadn't noticed already, off screen I also created their shoes. They're a new version of the high heel platforms that I previously made in some other videos. These ones have a cute little hoof detail in the front. Between the two of them, it's hard to pick a favorite, but if I had to, I would say I love how chocolate turned out a little bit more than how strawberry turned out. I think I like the contrast between the brown and the white a little bit more than the pink and the white. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I love doing these human-animal hybrids, they're super fun. Previously I did a dragonfly video, if you haven't seen that video, go check that out. Also if you haven't seen Harley's Dollhouse video for a strawberry milkshake cow doll, go check that out as well. It was very serendipitous and we were both working on similar dolls at the same time. Pretty crazy, right? I made sure to let her know as soon as I noticed that our ideas were pretty similar. Anyway, for the rest of the video, enjoy the photos!
Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!